Hey guys, today I'll be doing a review of the Rival RFX Guerrero sparring gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky rhythms right down your block. We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but we beat to rap what Hey guys, today I'll be doing a review of the Rival RFX Guerrero sparring gloves in 16 ounce. Um, you can see I got the maroon, black, and white color scheme. Um, these gloves are custom made through Rival Boxing. Um, they do not have a stock color option or these stock gloves on their website. So if you want to get a pair of these, um, you do have to contact Rival um, either through email or give them a call over the phone um, to order yourself a pair. Um, the gloves do retail for $300, uh, not including shipping and they take usually about nine to 10 weeks to receive in the mail after you put your order in. So um, if you purchase these, um, you pick the three colors that you want. Um, and then if you want more customization to the glove, like metallic colors, more artwork design on the gloves, uh, obviously the price will go up. Um, then they will send you a mock-up of the glove, what they'll look like before they make them. Um, and then from there, once you pay them and you get them uh, manufactured, it takes about, again, nine to 10 weeks for these to be made. Um, I believe they come in from uh, anywhere from I think uh, like 10 to 12 ounces all the way up to 18 ounces. Um, so as far as uh, glove weight goes, they have def definitely a nice variety of weights, um, and they only come in lace up. They do not make these in Velcro. Um, so with that being said, these gloves are a very beautiful glove. Um, probably one of my favorites right now. As you can see, they have the angled lace track system with the RFX Guerrero sparring right there. Um, if you go on Rivals Instagram account, you can see. Uh, various you know amateur and both pro fighters using these gloves uh, for training and as you can see here they came nicely wrapped they have nice little details that i like that rival did when they sent these gloves to me um, you can see they came with this nice rival boxing gear mesh bag they were plastic wrapped in there um, they also had um, these cool tags attached to the to the glove just little details that you look for um, is this uh, rival rfx guerrero uh, tag right here you can see that has kind of the sketching of the gloves itself um, you have this uh, kind of just the general rival boxing company motto and logo right there uh, professional just a little tag saying professional quality um, and then last but not least the actual RFX Guerrero sparring glove uh, notation right here prepared and inspected by Eva Les Thank you for that. Uh, 16 ounces, <clears throat> kind of a letter on the quality gloves saying thank you for purchasing these gloves. And um, on the back you have um, important how to lace instructions, uh, Rival's unique and innovative angled lace track system. As you can see the way the cuff is designed, it just shows you how to go around and you know lock in your wrist uh, with their patented system. So you got this little cool doodad right there. And then moving on to the glove. So, um, talking about the actual glove specifics, um, the quality is very nice. You can see that the leather is a very nice, thick, uh, shiny leather all the way through. So, full leather construction, no mesh, uh, no synthetic material here. Um, the gloves are made in Pakistan. So, on the inside, um, you can see that it has this nice polyester smooth lining, but on the inside tag there, uh, it does say that these are manufactured in Pakistan, not Mexico. Even though they are kind of advertised as a Mexican style glove, um, they are not made there. So um, the quality though is very, very nice. Um, I would probably compare these to Sabas in terms of quality um, as far as them being up on par with winning. Comfort wise, I would say they're about as, you know, as comfortable as winning, if not more comfortable than winning, but the, there is some to be desired as far as the stitching goes. Um, as you can see, kind of along the edges there, a little details in stitching that could have been improved, especially for a glove of this price point. Um, stitching could be a little better, not bad, but could be a little bit tighter and just uh, in better detail. Um, but that's basically the only area I saw any imperfections as far as stitching goes. You can see the attached thumb is nicely done. You can see the logos are nicely printed on here. Um, you can see the handcrafted with pride on the inside that's on the grip bar and that's actually stitched on there um, that's not screen printed so that's a very nice touch um, you can see that has a standard rival vertical logo right here um, and then you have um, the stitched on rival logo as well as the stitch on rfx guerrero with the angle lace track on that side on the palm side 
um, you can see that it has the model number, or should I say model name, the HDEF model uh, in 16 ounces. So you can have that there. And then on, on all of these Guerrero sparring gloves, they have um, custom made exclusively for your name on there. So my name's on there. And overall, a very nice glove. Um, they use a multi-layer padding on here. So you can feel that the glove padding isn't too dense, but it's not too soft as well. Um, very nice job of protecting you and your sparring partner. Um, these are advertised as a sparring glove. Um, but if you see my other video, I've used these for both the heavy bag um, and double end bag sparingly. And they do a very superb job of protecting my, my knuckles and my hands as far as sparring goes um, and using the heavy bag. So uh, don't be afraid to use these on the bag. Um, and you definitely get great feedback with these. So when you hit the bag, if you're landing a straight or um, landing a hook shot, you can definitely feel these come through, but not to the point where it hurts your knuckles or you have any issues with your wrists. So uh, very nice job with that. Putting the gloves on, uh, they have a nice broken in feel. They don't feel stiff. The leather feels nice and supple. Uh, the thumb position is great. I don't feel that my thumb is awkward at all. Uh, my fist position is great as well. And I feel that it does a very nice job of letting me clinch my fist and, and making a really good fist in, in hitting the bag or whatever I might be using it for. Uh, the grip bar feels really nice and comfortable. Um, about medium size there. And then the finger compartment is nice as well. I don't feel like there's any pinch points with these gloves, um, which is nice because this has a more of a compact profile. And the gloves aren't too long as well, so you don't feel that the gloves are too long to where the cuff is coming almost all the way down to your elbow. So overall, a very nice feeling glove, uh, very comfortable. The design looks really good. Um, I like the little details that Rival has done with these gloves. Um, they are on the pricey side, starting at $300. I do love that you get to get these in custom colors, um, and they just are a very beautiful glove. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave any feedback. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Take care.